Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon P1000 and Nikon P900. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon P1000 and the Nikon P900 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of July 2018 and the 2nd of March 2015. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P1000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P900. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon P1000 and the Nikon P900. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon P1000. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon P900. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P1000. I love the pictures, but it's too big and heavy. Also, when I posted a picture from my phone, the file size and quality were reduced. I've been using the P1000 for wildlife photography for about three months, and it's been amazing. The zoom is rare and allows me to capture wildlife from great distances. The camera is perfect for casual outings and travel, and I've been able to capture some great shots of birds and animals. The picture quality is not professional, but it's great for sharing with friends and family. The camera is lightweight and all-in-one, making it perfect for my beginner wildlife photography needs. I highly recommend it for anyone looking to capture wildlife without heavy professional gear. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P900. I am very pleased with the performance of the team, it has met my expectations, and I am eager to see how it will hold up over the years. I love my Nikon P900 digital camera, it has a large 83x optical zoom and is fairly easy to navigate. The Wi-Fi capability is convenient and the camera takes decent outdoor photos in daylight. However, the battery life is fair and the camera is rather large in size. The video quality is pretty good at 1080p, but the photo quality varies. Overall, I would rate it 4 out of 5 stars. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon P1000. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Nikon P900. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. 